Hey guys, it's Bridget. I'm here in the Creative Vibe Studios and I'm excited to have you here with me. Let me tell you, everything is virtual nowadays. So anytime I get a chance to talk and see my friends and see my people and communicate with my tribe, I jump on it. So, you know, it's hard to get back into your routines, right? So today I want to talk to you briefly about your morning routine. So we've been on quarantine. We've been sheltering in place. We've done all the things since March. It is now halfway through the year. We're halfway through this year, right? Things are starting to open back up. People are just ready to get back out there and be back in their normal scenarios and their life habits and their routines and all of these good things. But it doesn't matter what you do throughout the day if you don't make your morning, right? So today I wanna to talk to you about four lifestyle changes that you can just start doing today that will change your morning, right? So for me, right before COVID-19 hit, my morning routine was good, right? I knew I had, I didn't even need an alarm, right? So I'm able to just wake up, get up, do what I need to do, be productive, go through my list, do my meditation, do my prayers, all the things, right? All the things that they tell you that you need to do in order to have a very good productive day. So I've been feeling super productive doing, helping my clients, working a full-time job, all of this stuff, right? COVID, lose that contract. Calm. All of my clients are now feeling a little concerned. Maybe their money has been cut as well. The world is feeling this pain, right? So that is a new normal. Did that affect your morning? It affected my morning routine, right? I tried very much so to continue my morning routine, to get up, to stretch, to drink my water, to do my journaling, to say some prayers, to give gratitude. But a lot of days, I still got up. Now, don't get me wrong. I've gotten into a really good habit of actually getting up and being at, awake and alert and not consuming because a lot of times the consumption of all the things that are in the media, all the things on social media, all the things that are just out there can be overwhelming. So I have to really pace myself. I don't know if you're like that. A lot of times people are just addicted to this consumption and it's not really good for you, especially if you do it first thing in the morning. So I challenge you to make four simple, simple, simple changes in your morning routine that will help you be productive, have more energy, be clear, and also be connected to your energy. So if you are tired, then maybe you don't get up as early. But if you are making excuses and you don't have enough time during the day to get everything done, you've got to make some changes. So if you can make your morning, and what I mean by that is getting up an hour earlier than you normally do, right? So if you have to be at a position in a facility somewhere, which causes you to get up, shower, get your clothes on, make a lunch, take care of your family, whatever that time frame is, you need to add another hour to it. I know. So if you're getting up at six to do all the things, you need to get up at five, okay? I'm just saying. You've gotta make some sacrifices in order to really make time for running your business, if you have a side hustle, being present, and in coherent throughout the day, you have to be able to make your morning so that when you show up, you can actually be an add value wherever you are, okay? So what I mean by making the morning, I want you to do these four things. Number one, get up out of the bed and don't lay back down. <laughs> so when you wake up, let's say the alarm goes off at five because we've added an hour, right? You get up, and you stay up. So maybe you get up, you go to the restroom, you get that drink of water, whatever you need to do. Don't get back in the bed and get comfortable. So there's two things you might have to kind of figure out here because I don't know if you have someone in there with you that might be grumpy if you wake them up. You know this better than anybody else. So if you are looking to disturb somebody that might be grumpy, don't do it. <laughs> take this time for yourself find a nice cozy place in your house that brings you joy that you look forward to going to in the morning 
and go there. If you need to keep on your comfy PJs, keep on your PJs. Grab your comfy robe, get the biggest, softest blanket that you have and take it up to the sofa or to your favorite chair. Do it. Don't get back in the bed. Now, if you're like me and you're the only person in there and you can turn the lights on, do it. Turn the lights on because that's going to give you motivation to stay awake, right? If you keep it, the lights off, you probably will go back to sleep, especially if you sit down and get cozy again. So don't do that. So the first thing you need to do, get up and stay up. Make an effort to walk across the room to turn the light on. If you don't have a light across the room, turn on the nightstand light, okay? If there's a lamp near you, turn that lamp on, use a restroom, do some stretches, drink your water. And if you wanna get back in the bed, get back in the bed. But here's where the second step in routine that you need to change. Do not lay back down. <laughs> so two things, if you end up out on the couch, on the sofa, then you need to sit on the sofa or intentionally sit in a chair, right? It's easier for you to go to sleep if you lay down and put your head on a pillow and get cozy and you're just celebrating because, oh, hey, I got up an hour early. No, you're wasting time that you could be productive, okay? So second step, sit up. Sit up in the bed, prop your pillows up, get comfortable that way, make your space, good so that you can be prepared to journal, which is one of the next things that you should do to get all of that creative energy and all those thoughts out. And then prayer works at this time, meditation, whatever you need to do to find some peace and calm before you start your day. It's very important to find a way to not be overwhelmed not be stressed out before you even start your day. So one of the, the other things of the four steps that is do not consume. If you are up, don't start consuming all the things before you start producing anything. And when I say producing, I mean writing a journal entry, right? Making a checklist of who you need to show up for today. How can you better take care of yourself today? What are the top three things that you need to do today? Set goals for yourself, right? If you're sitting up and you're dedicated to really, really taking the time to write this journal entry to get your feelings and emotions under control, give some gratitude, right? Make a list of how you can help and serve and who you need to show up for today. You will be prepared for whatever's to come. So by the time you actually are prepared to start consuming your emails, your social media notifications, any text messages overnight, voicemails, and all the things, you already have your priorities set straight in your head. You know who you need to show up for, you know what your, your items are that you must take care of today, and you also have already given thanks for this day. Another opportunity to live and do and be in this world. And that's very important. Every day is a new opportunity, right? So you have to be present and be able to show some respect when you wake up to yourself, to your life, because it's very important to shift these habits that we've come from during this quarantine time, during this pandemic, because our bodies and our minds have been stressed. No matter how you want to say it, some people may say they, they weren't stressed at all. We've all been stressed out a little bit. And our bodies are, are trying to get back to this normal routine. And it's hard, right? It's hard. And it's okay to admit that it's hard. But you have to start changing your habits and getting back into that place where you can be productive and show up and be present and add value and serve the people who are around you right? It's very important, especially if you're trying to start your business. These things and this mindset is guaranteed to set you up for success. If you are not really participating in your everyday, I want to say it's just everyday lifestyle. Like you have to really be present and not just going through the motions. Be intentional. So this four-step checklist of changing these simple lifestyles 
into everyday habits will really help you start the day off right by making the morning, right? You get up and you stay up. <laughs> you sit up and you don't lay back down. You produce instead of consume. And then finally, you want to make sure that you are ready for the day by turning off your phone. In the morning, don't look at your phone. Don't look at your, your laptop. Don't check your emails. You're gonna be tempted. So all these things are gonna play in this morning routine. Being able to get up and stay up, being able to sit up, not lay back down, being able to produce more than you're consuming, so let's just pause right there for a second because I think it's important to know that if you are reading something that's giving you knowledge and preparing you for what your goals are, that consumption is okay. But if you're consuming nonsense, things that don't, that are not a priority right this minute, first thing in the morning, if it's something that's going to anger you or upset you, you don't need to make that a priority in your day. You need to consume things that are gonna help you find peace, manage your emotions, do something that's going to bring joy to your life. So let's just say you're journaling and you don't do it the old fashioned way with a notebook and a pen and you use your phone, that's okay. Use your phone, use your laptop, but don't go on those websites. Don't check your email, don't go on social media, because you will be lost for 45 minutes and your whole purpose for getting up early is to make your morning. Social media is going to be there. Your emails are going to be there. Everything is going to be there. Now, if you need time to check all that stuff before you go into the office, before you get started, you need to add more time because this morning lifestyle change, it's an additional time added to your normal day. Okay. So it's not sleeping. If you want to sleep, go to bed early. <laughs> if you're tired, go to sleep, rest when you're tired. Now, if you know that you've done a lot the day before and the morning is going to be rough, it's okay. But be honest with yourself and make time throughout the day to maybe find your peace, step off and sit down somewhere, get your thoughts out, recenter. These four simple steps are easily done at any time of the day. So keep in mind that I'm asking you to make your morning because this is when you can control and take responsibility for your duty as a person to show up, to be present, to bring positive energy into the world. And if you choose to just get up and show up however you are, you're doing yourself and the people around you a disservice. So four simple lifestyle habits that you can change today and I hope that you will take this challenge and be encouraged to change and make your morning. My name is Bridget Rooks and I'm here in the Creative Vibe Studios and I hope that you take some time to change your mindset. It might need a makeover. So follow me on this journey, the entrepreneur lifestyle, and I will see you next time.